Hello everyone and welcome back. My name is Elizabeth and I sell cars at Nanaimo Toyota on Vancouver Island in BC. And today we're taking a look at the brand new 2023 RAV4 Prime in the SE all-wheel drive package. They've added a couple of things since the 22 model, which I'll go over. They are a 2.5 liter four-cylinder engine. They are a CVT six-speed transmission. They are going to have 302 horsepower. They have an electric range of 68 kilometers, which is 42 miles, which is really perfect for getting around town. And then you can just plug this in on a 110 or a 220. And if you were to not plug this in, you would be averaging six liters per 100 kilometers combined, which is 47 miles per gallon, which is also amazing. That's better fuel economy than a Corolla or a small front wheel drive sedan. And this is in this nice big five passenger all wheel drive SUV. So today I'm going to go over the exterior, the interior and answer any questions you guys have. And if you enjoy this video, please feel free to like, subscribe, and follow along as I'll have weekly uploads with lots of new 23 models coming out as well. This model also has 2,500 pounds of towing capacity. So let's go ahead and get started on the exterior. Here we go. Starting with the exterior, this color is called white. Surprise, surprise. It is not one of the blizzard pearl or the windchill pearl. It doesn't have that metallic fleck to it. Uh, it used to be called alpine white or super white. So it's a very flat white, really stark and really pops. I really like the combination with the piano tile black along the bumper and the gloss along the grill just makes the whole thing really stand out. You do have a 7.1 inch ground clearance, lovely 18 inch alloy wheels on mud and snow tires. Over here we have foldable mirrors front and back and you have the blind spot monitors in them there. They are also heated and power adjustable with these nice integrated turn signals. You have the proximity sensor with the push button start for your key fob. Tinted back windows. Also, uh, the roof rails up top and a sunroof is an added feature for the 2023. The 22s did not have that. Here is your charge cord. We are currently charging on a 220. Very straightforward. Mud guards in the front and in the rear. Taking a look along the back, windshield wiper. Again, like I mentioned, you have that power hatch. You can stop that anywhere along the way or you can close it. That's another new feature for 2023 as the 22s did not have that. Like okay, you have the badging there on either side. And this is where your gas tank is. And it is a 55 liter gas tank. So we're going to go ahead and take a look at the interior. All right, so starting in the back here, first we have our carpet mats. The rubber mats are installed. You have your charging cord for the 110 that we include as well. Here's the privacy cover. Easy to take out, just a little pump action. And these seats fold right down. It's almost a little bit more level than the gas or hybrid RAV4s because this floorboard is just slightly raised. So as you can see there, the incline is so small. Here we have your spare tire, which is not a full size or donut. It's kind of right in between. You even have a cigarette style charger in the back there and D rings in the corners. So can tie things down very handy it's also a storage spot for these i believe still under in here if you want to put them across and a little push button to close all right so start to move that and put these seats back up 
And in the back here, you have these sill protectors, power windows, of course, soft texts along your uh, armrest. Really nice fabric interior. Couple of cup holders with your armrest for the center. And that nice rubber mat that goes across the whole floor. You have a map holder just on the passenger side, not on the driver's side. A couple of vents for airflow and a couple of USB-C uh, ports below there. Fast chargers. Taking a look in the front. Power, windows, mirrors, locks, soft techs, scuff plates with the red rev on there. This is just a cover to keep it clean. Power seat so it does raise under the knee and in the back as well as your whole backrest and lumbar support for your lower back. I really like the cupping on the side makes it almost like a sport edge seating. Rubber mats. I left my jacket in here. There we go. So as you can see very nice interior. I really like this fabric. It's a really fine knit and has the red stitching, which matches my nails. It looks very nice. The headrest comes forward to help prevent whiplash for safety. Up top, you have a sunroof, which is first for the 23 models for the SE. Didn't have that before, which is really cool. Another change that they made for the 23 is the uh, silver kind of chrome bezeling along your infotainment display in your center console here a couple more fast chargers this is nice and pumpy for your armrest a couple cup holders in here with little adjustable uh, pieces on the side over here we have your locking glove wheel lock is in there as well and a nice little storage cubby up there soft text on the dash and the red stitching as well hazard lights and your vents. So I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to move forward because I'm really far back. And I'm going to turn on, put on the brake, push button start. We are plugged in right now. So it's asking me if I'd like to activate my room mode. And I'm going to say yes for now. Okay, so that's, we're just about done charging there. This is the new infotainment display, so it is compatible with a wireless Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, as well as it has some great extra features like Safety Connect and Service Connect. Um, there's also, um, it's with the compatibility, you have um, Google Maps that can come up on the screen for always up-to-date maps, which is really handy. Down below, dual zone climate control, you can both be a different temperature on either side heated seats high and low on both sides as well down here we have our cigarette style charger and a usb port nice little area to put your phone traction control easy to turn on or off you do have this little lever on your shifter so if you're popping it into reverse oh it won't let us right now which is very good of it because we are plugged in <laughs> kind of a safety feature there but if you pop it in reverse you've got a giant clear backup camera on there Electronic brake, brake is automatic. It'll come on when you park. It'll come off when you put it in drive or reverse. This guy is a park brake hold. So when you have that feature on, every time you come to a full stop, it will hold you. And when you use gas, it will release you, which is great for stop and go traffic. So you don't accidentally let off the brake and crash into someone. Here are your different modes for your electronic and hybrid system. So you have auto HVEV, and you have uh, the toggle between HV or EV. And if you press and hold this button, you have a charge hold. So it'll use your gas engine to recharge your electric range. So HV EV will switch between pure electric and hybrid vehicle. Pressing and holding will go into a gas mode that's gonna charge your electric. And auto EV HV will toggle as it sees fit to use electric and hybrid. Here we have Eco Sport and Trail. So depending on what mode you're in, it will change the screens. So you can see green for Eco, red for Sport, and Trail. It's like a bluish color there. Push back for normal. You have a heated leather wrapped steering wheel. 
which is right there. Power back hatch, you can open and close the hatch from there. This is a windshield de-icer, heats the physical glass along the edge of the windshield. Automatic high beams, when that feature is on, can, the lights will, high beams will come on and off with oncoming lights or tail lights. And this guy is a dimmer for your dash. Again, power windows, mirrors, locks. Over here, we have your rain sensing wipers, back wiper, auto lights, which are here. You even have a lever on your wheel, steering wheel, so you can scope it in or out or up or down, depending on if you're short and you can't see the screen or if you want it higher. These buttons are gonna go through your display. Right now we have the warning light of telling us it's charge time, etc. But you can go through your music, your trip distances, your hybrid system, your all wheel drive system, all your safety settings you can turn on or off, lane trace assist, pre-collision system, blind spot monitors, rear cross traffic alert, dynamic range, cruise control, all in there. Even in these deeper vehicle settings, you can change from kilometers to miles. Now it's telling us our charge levels and all the different ranges. It's gonna be a little bit wrong because we're only 14 kilometers old. And depending on your climate control, it will also uh, factor in these changes as well. So that was with the climate control off and now it's on. So as you can see, it's anticipating that you're gonna be gain, gaining 55, or sorry, five kilometers of electric range. Volume, answering and hanging up phone calls, a talk button, you can say things like call Elizabeth, or if you have your radio set up there, you can say play 99.3 The Fox. Here we have your full speed dynamic cruise control with lane trace assist. You can set the distance between you and the car in front of you with this guy. Lane departure alert, so when you're drifting over a line, it will beep, 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 and kind of give you a tug in the right direction. If you don't like it, you can turn it off. Mode will toggle between your AM, FM, and Bluetooth music, and these will go between your presets. Zoom back out here. Up top, we have our mirrors with our lights that pop up on there. So that'll turn on and off with your lights. I love the sun guards, they're the best. Your rear view mirror. This is just a regular one, it's not digital or home link sunglasses holder and then up here we have that SOS system so you can call fire truck ambulance police and it has stolen vehicle locator and then these guys are for opening and closing your sunroof so you can either have it full back or you can have it tilted with this guy here so Tilt. Just to let in a bit of fresh air, it's got this little accordion style here. And you have a manual shade. So that's up there. Really great visibility on these. I always like to point out they have these very small uh, A pillars with the quarter windows, so it's got great visibility. And in the back, still great visibility of the windows in the back there. Their square shape really helps with having a nice fishbowl kind of a view. Again, really nice interior. Very comfortable seating. I know I'm cozy. So that is the lovely interior. I hope you found this useful. All right, so what did you guys think of the brand new 2023 RAV4 Prime in the SE all-wheel drive package? I'd love to hear your thoughts or any of your questions in the comment section below. And if you enjoyed this video, please feel free to like, subscribe, and follow along as I'll have weekly uploads with lots of new 23 models coming out as well. Until next time, take care.